Hey there, Nick Dutakis here. In this video, we're going to go over a service called HTTP status, and it's for generating different HTTP response codes. For example, if you go to slash 200, that is going to generate a real 200 here, which is pretty normal. If we go to the network tab, we can see that the status is 200. Everything is A-OK. -okay. And if you scroll down on this site, they have a list of all the codes that they support. They support basically all the official ones and a couple unofficial ones. But if we go to, let's say, I don't know, maybe uh, 500 here, we can see that we do get a 500. And if we go to the network tab again here, we will see that the status code really is a 500. You know, so it's not just returning back a 200 like with this text. Now, this could be really useful if you are developing a third-party API. And let's say that you just want to focus on the code that is going to do some error handling or, you know, detecting what type of HTTP responses that you get. You can basically mock out your API and call this instead. And you can see like, okay, here's what happens when I get a 500. And you can write your logic to do that. You know, here's what happens when you get a 403 or a 400 or, you know, whatever HTTP status code that you want. It even supports fun ones like uh, 418 here, which is I'm a teapot. You know, there's a whole list here that you can, you can go and check out if you'd like. It's also pretty useful on the command line too as well. For example, if you are testing something, uh, if you go to, let's just say, you know, example.com here, then you can see curl is going to return back uh, with a status code or an exacode of zero here. We can see here, you know, nothing turned red in my prompt. We got uh, a zero. But what we could do also with curl is there is a fail. Let me also clear the screen a little bit easier to read. Uh, there is a flag with curl called dash dash fail. And what we could do here is uh, if we run this with, you know, some URL that's not going to exist here, then curl is actually going to exit with a status code of 22 here. We can see, uh, yep, that's the one that we get here. And basically what this flag does is if you don't get a 200, but re, uh, blah, if you don't get a 200 back, then curl is going to exit with uh, exit code 22 here, basically non-zero. So if you're writing a script expecting that you always get a 200, you know, you can have your script halt there uh, just based on doing that. So, you know, in this case, if you wanted to test very specific codes in a script or whatever, you know, you can go to HTTP status slash, you know, 400, 403, like whatever you want to test here. Instead of just like, depending on going to something like example.com with like, you know, something random where you're going to get a 404. So that's basically two use cases where you can use this site here too. Uh, what's nice is it is open source as well. So if you go to GitHub here, it is available. Uh, yeah, it looks like um, it's an application written in C Sharp. Not really important for the sake of this, but if you wanted to check it out, maybe potentially even self-host it yourself, you could do that if you'd like. Otherwise, you can just use their site here. Yeah, it's available to use with a reasonable fair usage policy. Basically, you know, just don't abuse the system there. But yeah, I've been using it once in a while now to just test some API responses here. It's a little bit easier to use a site just to get some very specific responses. Uh, for me specifically, you know, I was developing an API that required like all sorts of different IP whitelisting and I didn't have that whitelist available. So I just wanted to like, you know, just work on the error uh, logic for the code and script, not necessarily like connecting to the API itself. So yeah, this really helped me out there. And I figured, you know what, if it's useful for me, maybe it's useful for someone else. And uh, figured I'd you know, make a super short video just going over uh, this this service here. So yeah, feel free to check it out. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be using this and like, what you're going to be using it for. Also, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.